Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and today I'm going to talk about five attackers you should be using when playing at Rainbow Six Siege. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, why would I listen to an Emerald? This is my PC account. I'm actually, I'm actually champ on Xbox, and I'm solo queuing to champ on PC. So make sure you do drop me a follow on Twitch, because I'll be live streaming the whole way there. Twitch is in the description down below. So, let's get straight into it. So, one I really haven't played a lot is Dikebi. Comparing PC to uh, console, Dekebi is banned out a lot. And I always played Dekebi a lot anyway on console because Dekebi is a really good operator that more people should use. So let me just tell you why. So, so is her logic bomb, okay? This is a really good gadget as one, you can hack hands when people are dead, right? When enemy combatants have died, you can hack their phones, what will then give you all of their cameras. So bulletproof cams, maestro cams, valkyrie cams, default cams, all of it. What it can be absolutely huge. Because just for example, let's just say Clubhouse, for example, you can get garage cam. You, you've got garage cam, you can watch rafters. So it is absolutely huge. And also as well, you can also ring them and then you can hear where they are. So sound is very, very good. So I recommend using the KB. And as well, she has a really good weapons as well. So you got the MK14 EBR, very good weapon. And if you have a good trigger finger, really good. SMG 12, also really good as well. It's not, it, it on controller, it's not got a lot of recoil. You can control it quite easily. And then also you have smoke splashes and impact EMPs. So you have EMPs as well. So, you know, if you want to be a wall denial, you can also have the EMPs. So uh, the Kebby is one you should definitely be using. So the second one is a hard breacher. Now, these kind of more than five uh, operators, but it's kind of in the same area and they kind of do the same thing so when i say a hard reacher make sure you're using the hard reacher for the certain the right reasons so we've got thermite ace and habana now habana i only use habana for two reasons one on bank for if you go on the repel you can open up the wall next to banana where the elevator is and you can get a nice line of sight through the whole hallway and then also hatches as well that's the only way i would use habana is for the hatches and that will i don't use one other, other than that then a thermite a thermite i mainly use or i won't use them personally but i would have them in my team if we're like chalet for example you get a main wall clubhouse needs to get a cc wall uh need to get gym wall and clubhouse etc someone that needs to just basically open the wall like the thermite is just really good for opening the wall then ace ace is in my opinion i don't think you really should be playing ace as much as People play him. He only really is played a lot. The simple fact that he has an AK, what is a very good weapon. And he has hard breaches and claymores, but it's also good. But in my opinion, I don't think you should be playing Ace as much. In my opinion, I think you should be playing either Thermite or Hibana. Because one, Hibana as well, could do the same thing a little bit slower than Ace. But she has the Type 89, was a very good a solid AR. She has a bearing as a secondary. And also has the flashes as well but she has basically two fully automatic weapons what well, i recommend you use them so i recommend using her or thermite ace i reckon you shouldn't be using ace as much as he's actually need used all right so next on the list that we have twitch zero osa now what i mean by twitch zero and osa is basically does wall denial so which is a very good because once she has the F2, F2 is a very good. She has a shock drone, what allows her basically to take out any of the gadgets. And you also have two extra drones, what is also good for Intel. And you also have Claymore's. Claymore's also good for getting uh, basically getting run out on. So Twitch is a very good one. Zero as well is really, really good because you have the Argus cams, what allows you to basically put cameras around the map for Intel. And you can also take out um enemy gadgets as well uh, with, with the lasers not as much as twitch because i believe twitch has six we can take out six gadgets so i would recommend using zero as well because the intel as well is amazing using zero if you're using your august cams to just basically put cams everywhere really good to have in your stack and then osa as well is good as well for the basically she has emps and also her shield what can be a really solid duo were kind of in my opinion better than thatcher just because of the fact if it's a bandit for example right and not a kate if it's a bandit 
and you're trying to get the wall. Osa can put her shield down. Once you put a shield down, you can then do the EMPs. With Thatcher, you just throw the EMP. And if you know how to time your EMPs right, you'd know when to basically throw it and you can get the wall easily. So in my opinion, Osa is actually better than Thatcher just because of the fact that she has a shield and the EMPs. Number four on the list is basically your flanker. So your nomad, your gridlock. So this is kind of situational on what is better. I personally think gridlock is better uh, for the main reason of her spikes. So I don't know why these aren't actually a gadget that you can actually see. So basically a spike, you throw them, they would expand. Best way to say, you'll throw them, they would expand. And once they expand, the enemies have to shoot them or if they walk over them, they'll start taking damage. There is so many they have to shoot that if they're placed correctly, you're going to hear them. With Nomad, they just have to shoot one air jab, and then once that air jab is destroyed, they can walk free. But with the gridlocks, they have to shoot the spikes. You'll hear the sound from their gun, and also the sound from the gridlocks breaking, like a like a metal break type thing. So gridlock is a really good one to have as a flank watch, and is what I like to normally play. When I've been playing PC, I've also been playing a lot of Nomad and gridlock for just basically watching my flank because. I've been solo queuing and no one's really watching my back and I kind of just need someone needs something to watch my back. So having a flanker so good luck or nomad is really really good. So the last but not least, this is kind of your support or your fraggers. Okay. So you've got your Dekebi, you've got your hard breaches, you've got your war denial, you've got your flank watch. Now it's you have a support, so like Montaigne, and or you have a Fragger, so like Ayana, Ash. Well, I wouldn't recommend Ash, I would recommend Ayana, but your Fragger type ops. And also, Finker is also a really good pick as well for this because she's kind of the mix for me. Normally, with an LMG, if you're on console, if you just slap on the compensator, the LMG has no recoil. So, just slap on the compensator, and the LMG basically has no recoil if you just know how to just pull your stick down. So Finker is really good as well because you know healing, you can heal your team only for 20 but if your teammates are down then you're far away from them, you can just pick them up from far away. And then obviously Montaigne is really good. If you're really good with Montaigne and understand that you're not supposed to get kills with Montaigne, you're just there to just put pressure on the enemy, then play Montaigne. But if you're trying to, if you're going Monty to try and get easy kills, wouldn't recommend it because you're playing Monty in my opinion, you play Monty to help your team not for you to get kills i play monty where my aim feels absolutely awful and it's just not doing that good today well everyone has days where the aim is just not good so when my aim does not feel good i'll play monty help my team get kills and that's just normally how it goes and then as well ayana as well i play ayana when my aim feels quite on point because you've got the g36c very easy to control you got the grenades as well and also her eye on a clone as well giving you intel for a short period of time so yeah they are my five attackers uh, if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel be very much appreciated if you think any other attackers on this list are wrong and that you think that there should be some sort of different operator on the list put in the comment section down below i would like to see everyone else's opinion and uh yeah see you guys later